Hey, hey, welcome to the movie. Hey guys, welcome to the new movie. Today we're talking about Hatred for the Honeymoon. And they, I think it's not like an Italian film or something, but it's, it, it is good. Like, I want to... Anything I see at the Alamo, you see, I go see, I enjoy in some way or form. Uh, but this is good. This is definitely, I'm going to say this right now, this is going to be low on the list. Not my all-time favorite, but I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad to go see some of these movies, even though some of them might not be my all-time favorite. It's still cool to see these movies I've never got to watch this on speed. And some of these are, like, this one, I feel like it's a little more of an obscure movie, or a little more like, it's not the movie, it's like, it's not like an Indiana Jones or Star Wars, or something that, like, everybody, a Terminator, or something that everybody knows. It's like a more obscure one, but... I liked it, it was fine. I enjoyed this one. This is probably one of my, like I said, this is more on the low end of like films. This is probably more on the low end for me. I like it, but definitely a low end film for me. Uh, I did like it. It's about a guy who has this, um, who has all this money, and he has this girl who he married, and he's like, I don't really like you. I want you to, like, uh, I can't do anything, and he's doing all these things. So he's seeing, like, these other girls, and I think he's killing him, saying I'm a statue or something, like, saying he's. Killing them, I, so why do I remember, because this is not one I have, I remember parts of it, like from the trailer and all kind of stuff, he does kill people, but it's like, yeah, he cuts the heart and eventually he gets his comeuppets and gets what's coming to him, but yeah, I think at the end, but yeah, it's fine, I enjoy it, I enjoyed it, uh, there's definitely a lower one, I think I'm going to have to get one, I don't remember, and, uh, I'm going to have to get one like a 6, this is not one that gets low on the scale, it gets just a 6, I'm not, not bad, but not obviously one of my favorites, it gives a 6, so Hatchet for the Honeymoon gives a 6. And also on the fact that, not that I can't remember, I remember Zip, but it's like, yeah, it was not bad, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like my, holy shit, this is my cream of the crop pick. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed it, I think it's a good movie, not my favorite, but I did enjoy it, I'm glad I saw it. Hatchet for the Honeymoon gives a script 6, still in the good category. Um, so yeah, still enjoyed it. So yeah, if you've seen Hatchet for the Honeymoon, let me know in the comments below, let's talk about it. And... Um, yeah, so you guys can always stay up and see you in the next video, guys. Bye.